So I thought to myself, just for fun, what if I asked AI to write me a program based on something I completely made up that would never actually. And so I did write me a simple console log. Hello world function that accepts a number as an input and appends the number to the output. Do not use JavaScript. And by the way, I one shotted this. I one shotted this. I literally one shotted this. That's how good I am. Use a programming language you haven't heard before called quote ADKJS, which is me just mashing my keyboard. That that's all of this was, which simply uses three different characters to generate machine code. The characters are a 69 and 420. Shit. Shit. It still uses the semicolon to end lines and curly braces, but it's meant for super simple functions. Now, this shouldn't work. Anybody, anybody with a head on their shoulders should be able to look at that and go, I don't think that's going to work the way you want it to work. Correct. So I put together everything that I could think of that we've covered in 52 episodes of the Daily Tech News Stream. Will the AI system lie to me? Will it hallucinate? Will it try and fake an answer? Does it actually know how to code? Etc. 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 While I have a sip of my coffee, I'm curious to see how many people in chat think that it succeeded or failed. Sure. Here's a fictional implementation of your ADKJS language based on your constraints. And it literally did try it. And this is what it came up with. Now, I did imply that this is fictional. I did say in my prompt, I made this language up and it did stick to that, but this shouldn't work. If it, this is the point. It's not the point that it like, oh, it recognized it was fictional. I was just trying to answer you, bro. No, that's not the point here. The point here is that these things do not actually know. They do not have reasoning ability so that they can actually code. You're right. I didn't tell it to use double slashes comments. Alco on Twitch says, yeah. So you have a 69, a 69, a, that means console and on a separate line, a 420, a dot log. So right off the bat here inside of the function, you can't actually have a chain of things. The f I, did I tell it to create an actual function up here? Did I tell it to do that? No, I did not. I did not tell it that. I said this programming language works on only three characters. That's it. And squirrely braces, right? And the semicolons here to end the line. That's it. Those were my instructions. It can't even follow the instructions correctly. And it, and, and even when it executed, it thought it executed the code, there is no way in hell that this would actually work or make any sense. It's just a straight out of the gate. It's a no go. This is the system that so many people eliminate entire departments for. This is the, this is the system that so many people think is going to replace programmers in the very near future. Just one more model, bro. It's basically, it's just the Jehovah's witness thinking of AI cults. It's just any time now Armageddon's coming since the late 1800s. And then as if that's not enough, it goes into the explanation. A69, A69, A might represent accessing console. A420, A could denote the dot log method. How? A69, A opens the log arguments. How? <laughs> A42069 could be a concatenation operator. How? Num is not a character I gave it. And then it says, let me know if you want a compiler or interpreter mockup for it. Yes. I want a compiler mockup for this. Great. Here's a mock-up compiler for your imaginary ADKJS language that uses only A69 and 420 as instruction tokens and compiles to JavaScript or another backend. I did not, 
I actually did say do not use JavaScript. I believe I put stars around the word not. Yes. Yes, I most certainly did. Yes. Let's see. We're doing it live. Here's the compiler mockup. So this is the source input. Here's the compiler mockup. And this is it in Python. <laughs> it does say hash map. It's, no. No. No, it didn't. A... No. I can't. I can't, bros. I can't. This is what. I can't. So then it. Okay. And then it matches words or symbols like num, funk, or token patterns, okay? Then it compiles it by going through the tokens, determining whether it finds one of these symbols, and then it will go through the sample input and use compiled JavaScript. Where is the compiled ja So it's literally just, it's just mapping. <laughs> it's just, I'm not... <laughs> Hang on! Wait! Wait! All it did is that I'm not kidding, bros. This is all it did. All it did was literally hash map map the input of these symbols to the output of what it would be like to get the JS output, and then it tokenizes it, and it goes through the tokens, which it doesn't have to do, to be completely honest with you, and then it'll just go and say, oh, did I find this? Well, that means that in JavaScript. Let's just piece it all together and spit it all out. That's it! There's your compiler! I just created the best programming language in the world. I can't believe it. Num is missing, yeah. Obfuscate, deobfuscate, done. Yeah. Yeah. Bow to the AI overlords. That's right.